Which one of you did this? Which of you talentless hacks messed with my art? Calm down. We'll figure it out. Only blood can pay for this. Heads will roll. Tongues will be shorn from mouths. Guys, keep it down a little. People are trying to focus. Francine, you're the HR person. Do your job. I demand vengeance. Viper, whatever is going on here, I really don't care. Uh, you might want to check the latest build, Francine. Oh, I have to. Play it. Words cannot describe this atrocity. Okay, okay, fine. What's the problem? It looks fine. It looks fine. It looks fine. I'm surrounded by savages. Ah! Did you see the shark? Someone swapped it for a shiny next-gen 3D model. I didn't know our game could look so good. No, not good. This is an artistic disgrace. You did this, didn't you, Kevin? Uh, I don't even know how to open a 3D modeling program. You downloaded it from the internet. From some random asset market store or something. Dude, there's nothing wrong with asset markets. You don't want to have to rebuild the same generic desk every game. I'm above building desks, thank you very much. I meant like a general you, like all you artists. <laughs> Shows how much you know. It only starts with a desk. Then, one day, it's your main character. Next thing you know, you're addicted to this stuff, and your game is nothing but stock photos and pre-made environments and royalty-free sound effects, and then all the stock assets rebel against their master and harvest your organs, and I've seen it happen! Hey, guys. Nice work on the new Shark Viper. Looks neat. Gah! I'm gonna go floss my eyeballs. You'll get used to it, Viper. Yeah, he'll be fine by tomorrow. Still, the art didn't just... Update on its own. I don't know. Sharks are pretty mysterious. Let us demystify this mystery pylon. You all knock yourselves out. I've got a meeting with Jeb. I don't really want to play this thing again, but I guess I'm gonna... Hey, Jeb. You wanted something? Ah, uh, yes. There you are. So, we have some guests coming by later this week. Important executives with even more important money in their wallets. Yeah, so? So, I need you to spruce up this office a bit. We're looking drab and too... office-y. We need to look hip or, or artsy. This place needs to look so artsy that these people leave Friday feeling culturally outmatched, but ultimately warm and gooey about us. Friday? Like, two days from now? Look, it's okay because I know you're good at your job, and two days is a lot of time. It's not like tomorrow morning. Two days to pick out, assemble, and rearrange an entire office from scratch. All for some dog and pony show you gotta do? Why don't we spend that time on the game? These people are investors, Francine. They don't care about the game. They care about fancy, uncomfortable furniture and resin statues of things from our game. We don't have any resin statues from our games. Well, then resin statues from someone else's game. They won't know the difference. With no time. Really, Jeb? Like, really? What's my budget? Just make sure everything has a good return policy. You know. And keep positive. This is a growth opportunity. Right. So... Two days. Huh. 
I can do this. I'm gonna make the best damn redecorated office ever made. Morning, Ben. Lovely day, isn't it? Morning, Joan. Yeah, it... holy shit! Man, what the hell? Y'all know there's a big-ass dinosaur in the middle of the office? Not now, Ben. There's a mystery to solve. Detective Pylon shall emerge victorious! Yeah, Francine brought that in a few minutes ago. She's got a truck full of stuff outside. Damn it. If it's not one thing, it's another. Hey, Francine. Do you know anything about... The dinosaur, it's kind of blocking my desk. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Impulse buy from the checkout aisle. We can move your desk. Uh, you mean move the dinosaur? I didn't buy that thing to put it halfway across the office. I bought it to sit next to it. Hey, help me get some stuff off the truck. There's more? Yeah. I just discovered the most amazing store ever. You won't believe how cheap everything is. Now hop up here and help. There's a crap ton of stuff in here. Yeah, it's not all going to the office, though. I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've seen this store, Ben. Okay. There's a crap ton of stuff in here. Yeah, it's not all going to the office, though. I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've seen this store, Ben. Okay. Seriously, did you really have to put the lamp all the way in the back? Okay. 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 Do we need any of this stuff? That's not the point, Ben. Come on, act American. Really, come on, a knife with dinosaur? I could have gotten the 18-foot one.
There's a crap ton of stuff in here. Yeah, it's not all going to the office, though. I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've seen this store, Ben. Thanks. I really appreciate your help. It was a mess in there. Look, I didn't have time to be all delicate with it. I need to go back and get more. More? Francine, does Jeb know about this? Of course. I mean, mostly. He wants to impress some executives. With a crappy dinosaur. This is kitsch, not crap. The store is a godsend. They have wood paneled water coolers and cheap carpets and crepe machines. The studio doesn't need a crepe machine. The studio doesn't not need a crepe machine. Can you bring these things inside? I'll be back soon. Where did all this stuff come from? Francine found some new furniture store or something. Oh, is it cheap random assets and provisions? They just opened up nearby. I'm not crazy, Emma. This stuff looks bad, right? Well, it doesn't quite match the office style. Ugh, that sofa looks like barf from the 70s. Where did all this junk come from? Francine's gone on a redecoration crusade. You didn't notice the dinosaur? Wait, that's real? I thought only I could see that. Yeah, it's real, dude. Hey, can you see the chandelier demons too? Uh, no. Ah, crap. Yeah, I'm gonna go check out this store and see if I can talk Francine down. Ooh, can I come? They advertise on public access radio, you know. All right, well, let's go quick. Okay, so Ben, Viper, and Julie all deny knowing anything about that new shark mesh. That leaves Jeb and Francine. You know Francine pretty well, right? Could it be her? Uh, yeah. Well, we don't talk too much anymore. But I don't think that fits her M.O. What about Jeb? Jeb doesn't know how to turn on a computer. Ah, yeah, right. Any clues from the game itself? The new Shark Models file name was temp underscore shark underscore revision B underscore final underscore final two underscore complete. Ah, the naming convention of an experienced developer, I see. Don't we have a changelog for things like this? Uh, huh? She's right. Our backup system tracks every change. We just need to get that change log from the engineers. Awesome. Let's send them a note. Well, someone made us get rid of all our interns. No sacrificial interns, no help from the engineers. That's the rule. Unless we can find something else they want, right? Maybe we can bring them coffee. Everyone likes fancy coffee. Pylon, you're a tech artist. That's half engineer. Would an engineer like that? Definitely not. Not enough sugar. Chai tea lattes, then? That might work, but someone still has to go down there and deliver them. I'd go, but the engineers hate me. And if I go, I'll never come back. They've been trying to recruit me for years. Okay, fine. I'll go. How bad could it be? Would you look at this place? It goes on forever. This is a lot more than just office supplies. <gasps> Hey, there's a Tim Curry poster. I did not know I needed that. Ooh, and kettle corn. Everyone likes kettle corn. We're not here to shop, Joan. We're here to stop Francine from shopping. Why not just take her company credit card away? Oh, there's a yarn section. I don't know about that. I mean, she said Jeb gave her approval. How good are you at sneaking? Joan? Joan? All right, I guess I'm on my own. You again, miss? This is your third visit today. Do I need to cut you off and call you a cab? Spare me the jokes. Just ring me up. Fine, okay, fine. Yoink, I'll take that. Ben, what are you doing here? Give that back! It was Joan's idea. Listen, we're just here to talk. We don't need all this worthless crap. Oh, no, no offense. Nah, it's okay. Give it back, Ben. I've totally got Jeb's okay on this. Really? Jeb wants you to buy a cardboard cutout of a cactus cowboy. This place is incredible, Francine. I know, right? Tell Ben to give me back the company card. Ben, look around a little. There's gonna be something you like, too. What in God's name is that? It says his name is T-Pose Yorick on the tag. Give Francine back her card and let's check out already. Joan, you came here to help, remember? Look, that bastard gave me two days to redecorate the entire office. This store is the only reason he's getting anything. Now get out of my way. Ow! Huh, that was a bit extreme, Joan. I've never used somebody else to knock out a person before. Let's get him back to the office. Just so you know, this is probably a suicide mission, but that's okay, you can still go. All right. Just don't think about how dark it is, or about how the shadows call to you to join them forever. Uh, what? Okay, this is life or death. Now, it's important to not talk to anyone down there but the lead engineer. Yeah, no talking. That just riles them up. And make sure that they don't steal all your chais. You need to save one for the lead engineer. 
Here are some really dim holiday lights I found. You could use these to help you light your way. Are you sure you want to go? Um, no, not really. Well, it's too late to turn back now. We bought all these chives. Wait, how will I know which one is the lead engineer? Just look for the one with the most monitors. Engineers get their power from the number of monitors they have. You got this, Midge. Oh, man, my head. Joan, is that you? How'd we get back? Where's Francine? She's gone back to the store. Sorry I had to knock you out. You knocked me out? What the hell, Joan? Francine has a vision for the studio, Ben. I was blind before, but I see it now. And once you see what we've done, you'll see it too. Oh no. What did you two do, Joan? Have a look, Benjamin. Of all the things in here, I think the dinosaur makes the most sense. Okay, yeah, wood paneled water coolers look as cool as they sound. There's gotta be hearts inside that pottery. I know it. This is a Hugbot plushie. It's a limited edition plushie. Are you real, Ben? Or are you another hallucination? Uh, yeah, I'm real, man. Francine's out of control, dude. Hmm, fake Ben would say something like that. Leave me alone, fake Ben. What the hell are we gonna do with a cauldron? We're not a damn microbrewery. No one needs this much luggage. All right, couch. I didn't think you were gonna be the most ordinary thing I saw today. What the heck is this thing? An antenna? A humidifier? Good morning, New England. I'm JT. With me, as always, is Rebel Breeze. Welcome to the Dice Pad, your source for game, film, and culture news. Breeze, tell me, what do you know about the store chain known as Cheap Random Assets and Provisions? Oh. Jeb, listen. Francine's lost it. She's gone ballistic. Hello, employee. I have no idea what you're talking about. But I gave Francine an important task, and I expect her to deliver. She's making our office look like a toddler sticker book. That sounds fun. I should go check. And I will, once I'm done pondering. Pondering time is crucial for a good boss. Hey there, Ben. What are you two doing in here? We're waiting for Midge. She's downstairs. Downstairs? With the engineers? Is she out of her mind? We're gonna solve the mystery of the shark. Mystery of the... what? Y'all are still on about that crap? Have you looked at the studio? No, we've been in here, doing important stuff. Duh. Why? Okay, look. Francine and Joan have gone rogue. They found some new weird store and they're redecorating the office. So? So... Go look, guys. We've got to wait for Midge. Just poke your damn head out there already. Huh, that's different. Ooh, there are so many things to look at. This looks wild. No, it doesn't look wild. It looks garish as hell, dude. God knows how much she's costing the studio. She's mad with power. All that detail is clouding my judgment, but I think you're overreacting. You know, now that I think about it, Francine can go on power trips. I heard that. Francine, you need to stop this. We can't work in a place like this. I can. We're supposed to be making a game. You made it look like an explosion at the charm bracelet factory. You need an intervention. I figured you might try and stop me again. Luckily, they sell everything at cheap random assets and provisions. Even stock template game developers. Whoa, are those real? Hey, let's not do anything rash, Francine. Shut it, Kevin. There's one for each of you. Stock template developer gonna take my job. Super punch! Super punch!
number ow stop ow stop ow ha, ha. stop that you'll never punch. replace us you fiends take my kick take their assets You're done getting in my way, Ben. Joan, keep an eye on them. You can't do this! Yeah! This is definitely against some HR policy. Oh, relax. I'll let you out on Saturday, once Jeb has his little Hey! Put me down! You're supposed to listen to what I- ah! You plastic moron! Don't you know you're under warranty? Well, now, that was rude. Let us out! Okay, so, no big deal. Just gonna go wander into a pitch black basement filled with God knows what while carrying chai teas. Just another work day, right? Right. Okay, don't let them get my chai tea lattes. Save them for the lead engineer. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. <laughs>
That must be them. The lead engineer. Hey! Open this door! Hello! <sighs> Follows directions my ass. What's wrong with your friend? Nothing's wrong with handsome T-Pose York. This is just the way he is, and he's perfect. Do these go down? Why would the arms need to go down? Is he alive? Hello in there! Kill me! <laughs> Sorry, buddy. We don't speak bubble. Man, here I was hoping to have a normal, productive day for once. I hope you're happy, Francine. Oh, shut up, Ben. I was doing good work, and you know it. Yeah, well, your good work just took our jobs, literally. Those things are sitting at our desks. Aw, they think they're people. Right. Like that will fool anyone? Whoa, Francine! This place is so over the top! Good work! Nothing I'm seeing makes any sense. Which must mean it's very artsy. Ah, uh, yeah. I knew you could deliver. Damn it, Francine. Learn to take a compliment. I'll be in my office. Admit it, Francine, you got a problem. Yeah, these doppelgangers. I mean, all this, not just these weird, creepy-ass mannequin things. All that stuff out there, that's the problem. I tell you what, let's deal with the fake game developers first, and then we can talk about redecorating. Deal. Who do we still have on the outside? Uh, we got Jeb. Anyone useful? Julie? She hasn't left the recording booth since August. Maybe Midge. Where is Midge? Oh, right. Midge. Um, hello. Are you the lead engineer? Hi, I'm Midge, the new animator. I, uh, I replaced Javier. Uh... Sorry I didn't come down to introduce myself earlier. I know, kind of rude, right? Look, I don't want to bother you all, but um, something got changed with the build yesterday, and we're curious if you could uh, check the logs. I brought you chai lattes. You want me to... Put him there? Uh, okay. Oh, this, this is the check-in log. Check-in 4702, 1215 AM. Okay, so around midnight last night, submission notes, added revised shark model with fancy shaders. Contributor Midge P. This can't be right. That's me. Viper! Psst. Viper! Huh? Who's talking? Damn bees. I bet it was office bees again. Viper! Ugh, damn it! Who is it already? Over here! Are you real Francine or fake Francine? I've been, like, seeing stuff ever since yesterday. I see stuff when I get mad sometimes. What? Let us out! Can't. Door handle's gone. But, yeah, there are, like, a bunch of faceless nightmare people out here. It's weirding me out, but they're fake. They're real. They locked us in here! Oh man, there are more of you jokers in there? Look, uh, this situation is dire. The office is filled with hostiles. You're the only one who can save us. I knew this day would come. Okay, how do you kill these nightmares? They're not alive. They're just made of polystyrene. Really? Will they give you cancer if you lick them? Only in California. Whoa, whoa. Just so we're clear, I'm not licking anybody, okay? Focus, people! Just, like, set them on fire or something, Viper. You're kidding me. The one day I left my flamethrower at home. You have a flamethrower? Duh. I have the official Sweaty Blood 14 Collector's Edition Fully Functional Flamethrower. Signed by a bloody Chuck cosplayer. I guess I can run home and get it. No need. I got a flamethrower from that store. You have a flamethrower too? Uh, no. It's the office flamethrower. I think it's over by the wood chipper. We have a wood chipper? It was in the clearance section, okay? Alright. So, get the flamethrower, set everything on fire. These things are toast. Take this, fake person thing! 
Everyone's on fire! Everything burn! <laughs> Gotta let the flamethrower cool down. Kill it with fire! Rawr, I am victorious! Viper? What's going on? What? We're free! Ha! Huh. I can't believe that worked! Thanks, handsome t pose Yorick. Oh, damn. Viper, you set the studio on fire! Hey, what did you think would happen? Rocket Seed, what do we do? Why are you asking me? Use the fire extinguisher. That's on fire, too! So, bad news, everyone. As you all know, the studio caught fire today. We lost all the Francine's hard work. It turns out everything she bought was extraordinarily flammable. Yeah, I'm sorry I got carried away, everyone. It was fun while it lasted, though, so I can't promise I won't do it again someday. Also, while structural damage was minimal, we've had to cancel our upcoming investor meeting. It's a real shame. It would have been great to get those investors in here. They can practically smell their wallets. That's smoke damage. On the plus side, insurance payout from the fire should keep us going for a few months. So, yay. Now everyone, get to work cleaning this place up while I go ponder this. Whew, glad that's all settled. Who knew cheap goods were so dangerous? Oh, uh, Joan, we have to destroy Yorick too. Oh, he'll be chained up in my basement, don't you worry. Well, all right then. Hey, Midge. Did the lead engineer tell you who added the shark mesh? Uh, yeah. They, uh, they said it was a rendering optimization. Really? An optimization? I believe it. Engineers never lie. They refactor instead. Huh. All right. Well, I guess that means we can't change it back, huh? Viper won't be happy. We shouldn't change it back anyway. Have you looked at the meter? The meter? Oh! Hot heckin' damn! Four out of ten? Yeah. I've never seen that number go up before. Huh. Now we just need to keep that up till we release. Maybe we can convince the engineers to optimize their stuff more. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah.